Following final confirmation of rocket and payload readiness, two GEM 63XL solid rocket boosters and twin BE-4 engines produce more than 1.7 million pounds of thrust to lift ULA's Vulcan rocket away from Cape Canaveral Space Launch Complex 41. Shortly after liftoff, the rocket begins a pitchover to attain the proper flight path while minimizing the dynamic pressure it experiences during flight. Vulcan then reaches Mach 1, the speed of sound. With the ability to add two, four, or six solid rocket boosters, or SRBs, Vulcan can be precisely configured to take any mission to space, from low Earth orbit to Pluto and beyond. These boosters augment the rocket's total thrust at liftoff, adding approximately 460,000 pounds of thrust per SRB. With their propellant expired approximately 90 seconds into ascent, the SRBs burn out, followed by jettison. Jettison time is variable, occurring between 100 and 150 seconds after liftoff, depending on mission requirements. Vulcan's guidance system then activates to steer towards the precise target in space. First stage flight continues as the rocket crosses the Kármán line, entering space. With the majority of propellant expended as Vulcan fights against the force of gravity, the BE-4 engines shut down and the booster stage separates. With the rocket now weighing less than 10% of what it did at liftoff, dual RL-10C engines on ULA's Centaur upper stage ignite. Spacecraft are encapsulated inside a 5.4-meter diameter payload fairing which provides a protective environment during ascent. Following Centaur engine ignition, the payload fairing is jettisoned. With the first burn complete, the Centaur engine shuts down for a coast phase. Centaur flies a short, medium, or long coast, which is determined by launch day. Further into flight, Centaur ignites for a second burn, powering the vehicle into a translunar injection orbit. Following the second main engine cutoff, ULA Centaur places Astrobotics Peregrine Lunar Lander into a highly elliptical orbit, more than 220,000 miles above Earth, where it will intercept the Moon. Following delivery of the Peregrine spacecraft, Centaur comes alive for a third and final burn to reach a heliocentric orbit around the Sun. Centaur completes the CERT-1 mission by carrying Celestis's Memorial Spaceflight payload into deep space. Known as the Enterprise Flight, this mission includes 234 flight capsules containing cremated remains, DNA samples, and messages of greetings from clients worldwide on an endless journey in interplanetary space beyond the Earth-Moon system to orbit the Sun forever.